A constant velocity, or CV joint, transfers power from one component to another without speed fluctuation, and they must be able to operate at varying angles to compensate for steering and suspension movement. The different types of CV joints can be divided into two categories, their design and their function. Although there are in reality more than two designs, there are only two prevalent designs used on the CV shafts in today's cars, the Rezeppa and the tripod joint. A Rezeppa joint features grooved inner and outer races with steel balls that ride in the grooves. The balls are retained by a cage and both the grooves and balls are precisely machined to achieve no lash or no play while providing smooth operation. A tripod joint features three rollers riding on needle bearings and mounted on a spider. The rollers ride in a race or cage, again relying on precision machining to achieve no play and smooth operation. A Rezeppa joint has the advantage of greater articulation, which is important for steering. And while either type has been used in the outboard position, the Rezeppa design is almost exclusively used in this position today. A tripod joint has the design advantage of a much greater plunge or axial travel. This is important because as the suspension on a vehicle moves up and down, the CV shaft must be able to extend and retract. The plunge travel of a CV joint allows for this change in length. Because of the greater plunge travel inherent to the design, tripod joints are most commonly used as the inboard joint. However, Rezeppa joints designed with longer raceways, called plunging Rezeppa joints, are sometimes used in the inboard position. A tripod is typically stronger than a Rezeppa joint of the same size, so they can be made smaller and lighter weight while still providing adequate strength. They also create less friction and heat, and these advantages make them more popular in some forms of racing. But since the Rezeppa style of joint offers a greater articulation angle, and a plunging Rezeppa joint offers the articulation angle along with increased axial travel, these are better suited for some applications. It all comes down to the application and the pros and cons of each type of joint for that application, so don't be surprised to see either style in either location. Thanks for watching.